Now we're back on Arkenlex B Deeping Minimal. It's an ISO that you can build yourself because B stands for build your own ISO. And it just means that you have a file and you say, I don't want to have this on the ISO, I don't want to have that. And I do want this, I do want that. So it's just a text file. You delete the hashtags and that's it. But the topic of this video is how to prevent glitches on Deeping. Deeping has a wonderful, beautiful uh, way of showing you things with all kinds of window effects and that is just the problem and there's a shortcut for it switch window effects is still open shift super tap but it's uh, somewhere up here where you can say uh, shift it or, or well it's just an, a switch you can turn and to enable the window effect it comes transparent and beautiful and all uh, happens with a beautiful effect when you go to menus and all that. But the problem is our simple screen recorder just can't deal with all these window effects and it's the same on Cinnamon. And another solution for, for Plasma. So we have to be well creative and so the solution for now is that we can actually go into the settings and disable the window effect or go into the shortcuts. So we have here this little keyboard icon and let's combine it with making uh, a shortcut, a keyboard shortcut. So I did already create something and it's uh, supposedly down here somewhere. I've made a custom shortcut already with Ctrl Alt V and maybe it's interesting to edit that one as well. If I can, let's see here, click. The thing is that I just wanted to mention that Vivaldi is not actually Vivaldi. The command is actually Vivaldi stable. And that's easy to know if you just open a terminal, start typing and then tap. Then immediately he fills out, he makes it uh, complete and says, okay, it's actually not Vivaldi. It's stable behind it. There's also a snapshot and that's why. We have also Firefox and if you're going to make a new one, but it's not installed, this is a minimal. So if you want to have Firefox in a minimal one, you have to actually install it. That's the reason why we call it minimal. So we have a package list and we get rid of things. I say, okay, one browser, one this, one that. And now I can make a keyboard shortcut because Firefox is installed. We start typing and that's the name. That's the name I need. So I go back to my settings, keyboard shortcuts and let's get out of here so cancel here add custom shortcut this is what you get a nice little pop-up and then you can say okay i can type anything here that, that this doesn't matter but okay for myself and uh, this is firefox and this is important of course this is your command you're going to start up in the terminal the short shortcut click on it decide on a shortcut ctrl alt f it is in our case and then add and then next time Ctrl Alt F will boot up Firefox for the first time ever. So if we close, we get this warn and then we say close tabs. There was one last thing I would like to explain as well. So if you have Firefox installed, you can also go in here and decide to open it. Send to the desktop, which I don't like, but okay, you can have it. Send to the dock, which is better. So it's going to be down here and um, add to startup if you want to and even an uninstall so i haven't tried the uninstall so i'm going to try it fail to uninstall okay <laughs> so this because probably we'll have an uh oh why does this come up well because we are in probably a arch linux system and deeping is doing something behind it maybe and delete in pseudo apt something all right but basically, that's not so important for us. Um, this, this of course is, this is interesting that this little icon is there. So do we need Plank or not? Um, it's not installed, it's a minimal installation. So Plank is not there. So if you say, I do want my Plank, <coughs> let's combine that as well and see if we have still glitches and tear, screen tearing with our uh, desktop effects off. So, uh, Plank, that's one thing, that's the application, but there is also an Arch Linux stuff. Um, and maybe let's combine Pac-Man uh, Pamac as well. So 
if you are on Arch Linux in phase 5, you go to the repositories and we have a lot of repositories gathered over the years. So we have here, you can navigate like this if you don't know what was it again, then this is very visual. This has something to do with Planck. This is the settings of Planck and this is the theme of Planck. All the themes, 80 or, or 90, I don't know, even, even more close to 100, I think. All themes. So they are installed. You can do that the same in Arch Linux, Arch Linux, Arch Linux D, Arch Linux B, doesn't matter. It's all Arch Linux, right? So blank, run it. It comes here. You don't like it here. This is right uh, control on the mouse, uh, right click on the mouse and left control on your keyboard and you get to preferences and put it for instance at the top with a totally different look something that goes with your wallpaper maybe this one a lot of things you just press on the arrow down arrow up and you navigate through all the different shades and colors that there are there are red ones yellow ones green ones there's a red one all depends on the wallpaper you have and a thing you like so that's plank also installed so if you want to have that I always like to have it animated but it seems I can zoom is not doing doing that maybe has to do something with my desktop settings that I killed so if you go back up here so what have we done to enable to disable all the glitches and uh, screen tearing we've set this enable window effect to off if we do it back on we have uh, a beautiful transparent look here on the side which is the normal look and of course yes it will work again i guess i better change back my preferences here because that's not what i wanted to have more something like this all right so there you go uh, all the effects are enabled again so probably the glitches are back again as well but um, as long as we know how to get rid of glitches so we make, can make our tutorials for later, then it's good. Okay, enjoy deeping.